When you look at the resurrection, you need to look at it as a historical event and claim. Okay. And I think so many people have put the resurrection in this category of faith. And that that makes it, one, easily dismissible, because that's kind of how we we navigate mm -hmm. faith. Uh, maybe I agree with it. Maybe I don't. Mm -hmm. And and I think at the end of the day, there's this, when we evaluate it, we don't evaluate it the same way we would evaluate any historical claim. But that's what Christians are doing. Christians are coming along and saying, like, no, we believe this happened historically, and that it can be known and evaluated historically like any event we know in history. So that's the questions you're asking. How do you acclaim for the appearances to multiple people? How do you attest to the claim of the women? Like these are all historical data points that we then have to say, how do I put these data points that make the most consistent logical sense for the event and the claim that's being made?